Hey, what's up guys? So we talk a lot about print on demand on this channel, but a lot of you guys know that my e-commerce journey, my personal journey, actually started with Amazon FBA. And Alibaba played a big role in me sourcing my first product and ultimately building a relationship that spanned over four years now with the supplier of that first product that I've grown into a brand over 10 SKUs uh, that I'm very proud of, you know, I mean, looking back, I would have never guessed it would get this far, uh, but it's, you know, made me quite a bit of money, and I want that for everybody, for every one of you. Um, those of you guys that have caught some of my interviews that I've done lately, I like to highlight some print-on-demand success stories on my channel, especially people, like, in my Facebook community, and we often talk about, like, what's next, and um, they often have their sights set on expanding their print-on-demand business, uh, to Amazon Seller Central if they're not already there and then often using the Seller Central account to sell physical private label products or you know it could be wholesale uh, but typically using fulfillment by Amazon and I've even had people on that were experts in Walmart and you can expand that physical product business onto other platforms of course you already know we're a big fan of doing that on this channel so specifically what I want to show you today is how we can use Alibaba to connect with suppliers and manufacturers around the world because typically that's what we're going to have to do if we want to uh, be competitive with our pricing so i'm going to show you exactly how to do that and i'm going to show you a couple examples of real products that we can use and i'm going to touch on a uh, promotion that they're running in march called the march expo so stay tuned <music> Real quick, just wanted to remind you guys, I run a weekly giveaway that you can enter for free using the link in the description. Two winners are selected every Sunday, plus I've got a link to my seven-day mini course to get you started with Amazon FBA and a link to my Amazon FBA Facebook community if you guys would like to join. I'd love to have you. All right, so let's talk about Alibaba. I will, of course, drop a link to the website in the description as well as a link to their YouTube channel in case you'd like to follow them for updates. They've got some really cool stuff in the works. I mean, it's certainly changed uh, for the better since I first used it in uh, late 2016. So this is what the website currently looks like and this is where I come when I begin the search to source a product or at least to find additional information about what the like manufacturing costs are gonna be and um, that also helps me project like what the inbound shipping costs are going to be if I want to import that into the United States. I've also sold on uh, via Amazon's pan-European program where it allows me to sell in five international markets in Europe but only have to send inventory to a single location. Uh, so, you know, it basically starts here though. And right there at the top, the search bar. Uh, I typed in stackable plastic storage bin. Then I hit search. Now you'll instantly get results. It actually says 6,935 results for stackable plastic storage bin. But I want to thin that out a little bit. What I always recommend doing is on the left-hand side, you have some filters under supplier types. I always check trade assurance where you get a 30-day window as long as you um, use Alibaba's payments they'll basically refund you if anything goes wrong um, at a high level. Of course, there's terms and conditions there that you can explore, but at a high level, that's what you're, you're getting protection there. And you can check verified supplier, which also uh, increases your likelihood of having a good experience, let's say. I mean, I've never had a bad experience. I'm, I'm lucky, maybe knock on wood, although I don't know that many people that have. Um, I've always had great experiences using Alibaba. When you use verified supplier, these factories that you work with will have gone through a third-party audit, an extensive third-party audit, uh, so they don't give that out lightly, and that's just another layer of security that you can rest your hat on. Now, also, I put a little arrow over there on the March label. Now, if you guys are watching this video outside of the window of the March Expo, that may not be there, but because that is there, let's talk a little bit about the uh, March Expo in a second and what it means. By the way, you can see there that I've checked all three of those and then it has changed the um, search results a little bit. And by the way, I mean, look at the second product from the right. It's giving you uh, stackable storage units. I don't think I saw those on Amazon and it's showing you that you can use these for shoes. And I mean, I don't know about you guys. I might just, this might just be me, but like I could use that product right there. <laughs> I've got way too many shoes. Shoes are one of those things that like I can't help myself but splurge on. It's one of those things I'm willing to splurge on. 
Um, I don't really think twice about it. Like if I want a pair of shoes, I just buy them not to brag or anything, but you know, it's just one of those things. Um, all right. So now let me tell you a second about the March expo. I'm releasing this video early on in March. That is intentional because I want you guys to be able to take advantage of this. If you've been thinking about looking at Alibaba for potentially a product that you want to sell online, by the way, you don't have to do it on Amazon or through Amazon FBA. You can order it to your house and manually fulfill orders through a marketplace like eBay. A lot of people get their start doing that. I personally, I mean, that was the first way I ever sold online. So you can consider that. You can also use Craigslist. Don't overlook Craigslist. I mean, a lot of people are on that site. All right, so by the way, I'll put a link to the uh, March Expo in the description so you can come right here to this page, check it out. One of the cool things I saw earlier, this is so random, right? But I was like looking at the live streams page and I don't think I captured a picture of the one I want to tell you about. But um, I took a screenshot of three different live streams that I was watching earlier. But there was one specifically that like, of all the products, it was so random. They were showing off um, like high end concert um, concert lighting. You know what I mean? Like it's not just concerts, I guess. In my mind, it's always concerts. But like uh, professional venue lighting, <laughs> you know? Like the one thing I miss most due to covid is live music live concerts you know and i me and some of my buddies were into the electronic music scene and you just get to see some crazy light shows and so of course the first live stream that i tuned into was somebody demoing these like high-end light show lights and it was super cool um you know so this is i mean you don't have to check out the live streams if it's not your thing uh i was just kind of exploring like what's going on here and the one in the bottom left corner by the way they all speak english and the one in the bottom left corner was like really professionally run. They it, it was almost like they were running like a QVC. You guys remember QVC, that television channel where they bring the product in and then they basically are like selling it to you. So the one in the bottom left was really impressive. So in addition to the live streams, here are just some high level things I wanted to highlight that are a part of the March Expo. All right. There's over a million new products that are being, uh, I guess, launched to the public or open to the public. There's limited discounts. There's over 50,000 suppliers that were selected to participate and over 15,000 of them are showing off these products via live streams. So they're basically running throughout the day. I think I read that there was like on average a thousand live streams a day and you can get free shipping for new buyers on your first order. I put a, a separate slide here just to elaborate on the free shipping, some notes. So the first order uh, for new for new buyers, you get free shipping. Uh, Alibaba has selected shipping carriers in specific countries. So as you would imagine, it's not like completely open-ended. There are some terms that will apply. You can get a $30 or sorry on a product that is over $30. You can get shipping discounts up to $40 and on products over a thousand dollars or product orders over a thousand dollars. You can get shipping discounts up to $100. Hey, when we're flipping products for a profit, anything that affects the bottom line in your favor helps. So I wanted to make you guys aware of that. So bouncing back to the stackable storage containers that we found on Amazon, by the way, they're selling six for $13.25. And also, if you look at the dimensions that they put in the title, these are actually smaller than I think they look at a glance. Like I think they were, I thought they were bigger at least um, when I initially saw the picture, but I think they're a little bit smaller than they seem, which would help save on like shipping costs, for instance, storage fees at Amazon. These are all things that you have to consider. This is why I spent as long as I did writing an Amazon FBA course because I wanted to make sure that everybody who learns how to sell on Amazon from me considers all of these, even if it's your first time selling a product on Amazon. So here we go. Bounce back to Alibaba. Make sure that we enabled the trade assurance, verified supplier. And in this case, I checked the March Expo filter. And I ended up finding basically the exact same product. So who knows? This could be the same manufacturer. Uh, Jungle Scout, side note, does actually have another tool where they help connect products on Amazon to the same manufacturer. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how they do that. Uh, I think they went in depth in their YouTube channel actually talking about how they do it. But just letting you know, that is out there too. So I'll put a link to Jungle Scout in the description if you want to check that out. But here you can find the product listed on Alibaba, by the way, when you get to the actual listing screen, when you click a product from the search results, you don't just go to like, it's not like Amazon where you find the product page and multiple people can sell it that are competing for the buy box. On Alibaba, you can find the same product being sold by different suppliers and they each have their own listing. So I just wanted to make sure you guys knew that. 
Now, if you scroll down on this page, you can find sections and they will show you similar products. So what I always recommend doing is reaching out to more than one supplier and you know just asking questions, asking them to give you quotes on what you may project as your first order quantity, which most likely is not going to be as many units as you would project to sell once your product is really established and ranking high on Amazon, which if you're thinking, how do I get those numbers? Going back to the the um, Jungle Scout Chrome extension, that helps you project the numbers that you'll be seeing once your product is established. So you want to ask those questions ahead of time, build a little bit of rapport with your supplier, and then you know don't go in and just only ask one supplier uh, or purchase immediately from one supplier. You also want to order samples. You know it's just a best practice. So or at least in my mind, it's a best practice. So this section helps you find other suppliers that you can talk to. And potentially work with you know you want to figure out which one's the best fit for you and move forward with them because like i said you might find yourself in my shoes four years later um having a relationship a really strong relationship built with um, your suppliers i mean i've actually flown to china and uh, didn't get to meet that supplier but i i met with my freight forwarder that i've worked with for over four years so that was a really cool experience as well all right so you can also scroll further down and you can find a description of the product and notice the other tab is the company profile. I always recommend checking that out. Uh, they put a lot of cool information typically. I mean, most in most of my experience, they'll often put like a video tour of their um, facilities and stuff like that. And while, while I was in China, I actually got to tour a couple um, manufacturing facilities as well. And, uh, you know, it was cool because it wasn't like, you know, it was very, it was very pro professional is the way I would describe it. Like we got a very professional tour. And then, so when you're ready to move forward guys on the sidebar that I showed you, you can find these three buttons, right? Well, four buttons, but start order, contact supplier, call us or add to cart. Now, like I mentioned earlier, my personal recommendation, reach out to the supplier, use the contact supplier. Alibaba has a uh, messaging so system built into the website. And in addition to using that, it's really easy to use. You get emails when you um, essentially you get an email when you receive a message so if you forget to check the only reason i'm mentioning this is because let's say you reach out to like five different suppliers you may get responses at different times so you'll get an email typically when you receive a response reminding you to go and um you know continue the conversation so uh, and then i mentioned that you don't have to use the jungle scout product database to find opportunities of products to sell on amazon by the way it's often favorable to be early to sell anything on Amazon. We talked about that in the print on demand context, but also, you know, it can be physical products that you maybe sell under your own private label. Now you can go to the March expo. Again, it's linked in the description and you can scroll down on the page and you can find things like top trends by category editor's choice. I'll also put a little video overlay here, just showing me scrolling down additional product suggestions that you can find right there on that page. So if anything catches your eye, you know, go and find it on Amazon. This is where it does help to have that um, Jungle Scout Chrome extension because then you can get a really quick insight without having to you know, spend 30 minutes or an hour manually combing through and trying to project if you can be successful selling that product. You know, when you have the Jungle Scout Chrome extension, it really helps to like, you know, start here. This is your list of products. Bounce on over to Amazon, which is a unique marketplace because again, they give us BSR. With BSR, we can project the sales without, you know, what other marketplace does that? I'm not aware of any. So Amazon's awesome. Alibaba's awesome because they're giving you an like a really long list of products that you can check out and it's right there at your fingertips. You don't have to go pay for, you know, the Jungle Scout product database. So check that out, guys. And hey, that's all I wanted to cover in this video. Thank you so much for watching till the end. I hope you like it. I know we talk a lot about print on demand, but don't forget my route started with private label on Amazon via Amazon FBA. So I'm happy to make this video for you guys. I hope you check out the March Expo. And that's it, guys. Drop a like. Hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed, and I'll see you soon.